Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to disable the UEFI Secure Boot on your Windows 10 device. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by, if you're able to get into Windows, we're going to try and get back into the BIOS settings. So depending on your motherboard's manufacturer, your key or function key you're going to be using might be a little bit different. However, since I'm in a virtual machine, I'm going to be tapping on the escape key while the computer boots up. So I'm going to do a hard power off, or I'm just going to turn off my computer. You don't have to turn off the power on the source. You just want to shut down your computer all the way. And then once you've done that, you want to enter into the BIOS setup utility. So I'm going to turn off my computer here. I'm going to turn it back on, and then I will be right back, guys. Okay guys, so on my boot menu here, I'm going to use my arrow keys to scroll down until I get to the enter setup option near the bottom. And then once it's highlighted, I'm going to hit enter to select it. And now I don't have this tab on my instance of this operating system or this computer, but I want you guys to just follow along with what I'm explaining right now and it shouldn't be that complicated. So you're going to see some tabs along the top here and I'm going to use my arrow keys right now just to demonstrate. And you can see there's a lot of different tabs up here. We have main, advanced, security, boot, whatnot. You guys, if you have secure boot, the option available, there should be something that says system configuration. So you want to look for that tab and then you want to scroll over to it. And then once you have selected that tab, you want to use the arrow keys up and down to scroll up and down on the page until you get something that says boot option. So again, you're going to go to the System Configuration tab at the top, and then once you have located that using your left and right arrow keys, you're going to scroll down using your down arrow key. So you should have four arrow keys up, down, left, and right. So you're going to scroll down until you get to Boot Option, and then you want to press the Enter key in order to access the Boot Option. And then you want to use the down arrow key to select Secure Boot, and then Secure Boot right across from it should say Enabled. So then little quotation marks or little asterisks, there should be something that says enabled right next to it. When you've selected secure boot, after you've gone underneath the boot menu, you've clicked enter, now you should see something that says secure boot. You want to hit the enter key again until it says disabled. And you might get a little screen that pops up that says disabled, enabled. You want to select disabled. Once you've done that, you want to hit enter. And then once you have done that and it says disabled now, you want to exit out of the BIOS utility. So either follow along with the little key at the bottom of the screen, and F10 happens to be my shortcut to save and exit, or I could use my arrow keys to scroll over to the exit tab over here. And you want to just make sure you save the changes by clicking F10, or again, whatever your key is. And it says save configuration changes and exit now. We're highlighted over yes right now at the moment, so I'm gonna hit enter so we can save our changes. And there you go guys, the UEFI Secure Boot should have been disabled at this point. So I do hope I was able to help you guys out. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to visualize every step along the way, but I felt like I got you guys to where you should be able to access these utilities. It shouldn't really be that hard to follow along of what I said in this video. Pretty much all we're doing is going into the boot options, going underneath Secure Boot, and disabling it, and then we're getting out of there, we're saving our changes, and that's pretty much it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.